and a plea deal is reached. He's not happy. I mean, this is not a happy day for him. What former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva now gets for agreeing to plead no contest to providing alcohol to a minor. Three charges against the former Stockton mayor have been dropped as part of a plea deal made this morning in Amador County. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Silva will not be going to jail, but will be on probation for a year. The three charges were dropped in exchange for Silva pleading no contest to allowing someone under the age of 21 to drink alcohol. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Stockton with more on today's decision. Interesting, Carlos. Hey, good evening to you. Silva's plea case is uh, part of a 2016 case against him in Amador County. It's separate from the case he has here in Stockton, where he's accused of embezzling money from the kids' club. It was October of 2016 when state and federal officials raided a youth camp in Amador County. It was an annual retreat hosted by former Mayor Anthony Silva's Boys and Girls Club. We all saw this on TV. It was uh, flat jackets. It was uh, the mayor being taken out in handcuffs in front of children all over the camp. Insinuations of outrageous criminal conduct, children weren't safe, all these types of allegations. According to court records, Silva was charged with eavesdropping or recording confidential communication, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, providing alcohol to a minor, and cruelty to a child by endangering health. And now at the end of this case, he pled to a business and profession code section that says that you can't give a camp counselor that's 20 years old a beer. Now, he's the first one to admit that that was the wrong thing to do. Silva pleaded no contest to furnishing alcohol to a person under the age of 21. Part of Silva's plea deal includes no jail time for the former mayor, but he will have one year probation and has to complete 40 hours of community service. We continually ask the public to keep an open mind. Allegations are just that. Anybody can make them. They don't mean anything. That's what we have a court of law for. Lawyers say Friday's plea deal is just one step closer to clearing Silva's name. It also allows the legal team to now focus on his other case involving embezzlement charges at the kids' club. And that's what we're going to do like a laser. We are going to focus on these charges and show what they are. They are not justified. There is um, not correct information that's been put out to the public by law enforcement in that case. And we're going to show that. And Silva is due back on Monday for his embezzlement case where they'll be talking about a possible trial date. Back to you. Uh, Carlos, live in Stockton. Thanks for that update.